up, gentlemen? So today's video falls under the category of do as I say, not as I do, because apparently I do some pretty stupid things in terms of buying. Today, I'm going over seven things that I wish I never bought. Unfortunately, I did. I've wasted a ton of money, and apparently I am a glutton for purchasing punishment. The first thing I got to talk about is, once again, my car. I've had it for a year and a half now. Uh, for those of you who missed the video that I did talking about things that I regret buying, one of those things was my BMW. M4. After the M4, the lease was up, I ended up going to the BMW dealership. I was like, yo, I need to get something better, bigger, sexier, more expensive. And so I bought this car. And I really feel like my ego bought this car because I, I'm embarrassed to say this, right? I used to think like, I'm like, oh, I'm not like that. I feel like I got this car because I felt like I couldn't like step down like it was saying something about me and like if I didn't get an expensive car that people like I feel like I did this and bought this car for my ego don't get me wrong the car is a great car it's awesome it's fast and all that but I drive like an old lady I don't need this car I also don't need the car payment as expensive as this you know when I think about what my favorite car of all time it was that G35 it was an infinity right I love that car but I felt like okay I need to like step it up I'm making more money and I fell into the trap of sort of consumerism and thinking that you know I needed to prove something to other people when and the truth is, gentlemen, I'm an idiot. Don't do what I did. Everybody's got like their thing, right? That thing that really gets them excited that they love. And if cars are your thing, that's cool. For me, cars have never been my thing. Leather bomber jackets have been my thing. Which is why I bought this one in gray, this one in black, this one in gray, this one in brown, this one in tan. Why? Why did I feel the need to buy all of these leather bomber jackets? I'll tell you why. Because I got this one. I was like, yo, this jacket is sick. It's amazing. It's from All Saints. It's awesome. I love it. And then I'm like, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me they got over the color? Anyway, the takeaway, if you find something that you love, you've got to resist the urge to buy it in like every color because the truth is you're probably never going to wear it and you're probably just going to waste the money, including watches. So I got bit by the watch bug. I got bit bad. And during the time when I was really like, like obsessing about them, I ended up buying like a few different Rolexes. And I don't wear any of them except this one. And the reason is because this is my newest one. This is the one that I like the most. And so I never put the other ones on. And it's a total waste of money. Now I could always sell them, right? That's what the logical thing to do. You're not wearing them. You're not using them. Get rid of them. Specifically now because you can actually make money because the market is so crazy, which brings me to another point. If you are somebody that wants to buy a high-end luxury watch, now is not the time. If you buy a high-end watch or a luxury watch now, like on the second-hand market, like a Chrono 24, you are absolutely going to get the old screw job if you ever try to sell it. But me, I'm such an idiot, I'm like, yo, if I sell it, well, what if I want to wear it sometime in the future, even though I literally haven't worn those watches in two years? So I think one of the takeaways for this video that I want you to understand is that it's hard hard sometimes to push down that, that urge to buy. Because when you buy something new, right, you get this like hit of dopamine, you're excited, you're like, this is awesome, right? And then the novelty and the newness wears off and you end up never using it or wearing it. And ultimately, it's just this vicious cycle of chasing that feeling. And this is something that I did for a long time with sunglasses, which is number four. I wish I never bought these Tom Fords or these retrospects, $500, but these like got cracked and so I bought another pair of retrospects, $500. But then I'm like, yo, if they're good, why don't I get that other pair? Because they're really cool, they're $500. But ooh, are they black with the gradient lens? I dig them, I'm gonna get them too. Unfortunately, I've got incredibly expensive taste when it comes to sunglasses. And I used to think that you needed to spend a ton of money, $400, $500, in order to get a super sexy pair. That's until I actually designed my own and created Enemy. The reason why I started the sunglass company Enemy was pretty Pretty simple to solve my own problem and scratch my own itch right I was sick and tired of spending 300 400 500 dollars on a pair of badass shades that was high quality and so I decided to see if I could actually design a pair of sunglasses that was super high quality in terms of premium materials custom designs but under a hundred dollars terms of quality guys next level we use Italian mazzacholi acetate the 
The lenses are Carl Zeiss, which is the highest quality lens, all right? Spring hinges, they fit incredible. They also are gonna stay on your face. We have four incredible styles. These are the Enemy Ones. Here's another pair, the Enemy Ones, matte black with the gradient lens, which kind of gives it like an old school, like Hollywood bad boy, Italian mobster feel. The Enemy Two is our version of the Clubmaster, a more refined, sort of elevated style. We have a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different styles, right? These are the matte black with the gradient black Zeiss lens, but they also come in tortoise. You can also get them in a solid black lens. And the Enemy 3 is our version of the classic aviator, except we've elevated it and made the proportions perfect because a lot of aviators on the market look a little bit dopey with that like teardrop look. And so we have perfected them. They come in all black. These are actually murdered out, matte black, super sexy, but they also come in silver and gold. And the great news, all of our inventory that's been out of stock is back and better than ever. And these are the Enemy 4s. These are a larger sunglass that looks super stupid on me because I got such like a small head. But for guys that have a little bit larger head or just like a larger shade, guys, these are incredible. We have three different styles, all black. We've got a matte black. We've also got a tortoise. Guys, hit the link down below and check out Enemy. Read the reviews. It's not just my opinion. Read the reviews from people that are actually wearing, rocking, and loving their enemies. People are blown away by the style, by the quality, and the affordability. But down below, there's also going to be a discount code. That code is for a limited time. Guys, take advantage because it's only going to be around for about 48 hours. So if you're interested to grab yourself a super sexy, badass pair of shades or minimal leather wallet, we got wallets now, gentlemen, or custom accessories. You could also grab custom accessories at Enemy. We've got more than just incredibly badass shades. But if you're interested, guys, hit the link, use the code, and grab yourself a sick-ass pair of shades. So number five is going to sting a little bit because you guys are definitely going to give me a little bit of shit, which I totally deserve. Boots. Why do I buy so many boots? And ugly shoes. I also buy a lot of them. But it uh, gets a, a little a, a little bit worse because like literally, li like seriously, and uh, really, 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 I need all the... They're all boots. So the Chelsea boots, I can kind of explain in terms of I love them and I wear them a lot. In the winter, it's pretty much like all I wear. It's like my uniform, jeans and boots. We'll talk about the jeans in a second. Now, in terms of ugly ass sneakers that I bought, I can't explain this. Number six are G-Star Raw jeans. I literally bought five pairs of the same blue jeans and three pairs of the black. So am I the only one who finds something that he loves and thinks, wait a second, I better get like multiple pairs of the same exact pair just in case the pair that I wear wears out and I can't find the pair that I love, what do I do then? What I did was buy way too many pairs of jeans that I literally will never wear. Literally, styles and trends are gonna go and boot cut jeans will be back in style before those things are actually worn and worn out. And I've done this before. When I actually got into like diesel jeans, I bought like a ton of diesel jeans. I literally have wasted so much money on denim that I never ever ever wear and I personally feel like Gap is still the best bang for your denim buck. Number seven is designer high-end fragrances, all right? This is the biggest racket out there going. Um, the price that these companies charge for these products is insane. And I know because I make fragrances, right? Um, that was one of the reasons why I started Pete and Pedro's fragrance line because I was sick and tired of spending $300, $400 to smell amazing. And I'm not saying that these fragrances don't smell absolutely amazing, but spending $300, $400 on a bottle of fragrance that you wear and you're out of in literally like a few months, in my opinion, is insane. There are way too many amazing fragrances out there that don't cost three, four, 500 bucks. If you guys are looking to smell incredible for under like $50, guys. The Pete and Pedro line is insane. Rebel is inspired by Creed Aventus. It's not a clone or a copy, but if you like Creed Aventus, you're going to love Rebel. And Villain is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Darker, earthier, spicier, incredible. Guys, I'm going to link to these down below along with the discount code if you want to check them out. And if you guys aren't sure which fragrance is going to be right for you, we now have a fragrance quiz where you actually tell us your preferences and we'll make a recommendation for you. We also sell deluxe samples, all right? So if you're not sure what fragrance and you're not ready to pull the trigger on a big bottle, you could always grab one or the set of the deluxe samples. These things are big, amazing, and smell incredible. Speaking of incredible, I've wasted an incredible amount of money on 
these suit supply suits, all right? This is actually number eight, a little bit of a bonus. All right, when I first found Suit Supply, I was like, oh my God, the food suits fit like amazing, so much better than anything I ever bought like off the rack, right? And the price was decent, they're good, right? For incredible quality. And so what did I do? I do what I do. I went crazy and bought like 10 freaking suits. And I literally never wear any of them ever, all right? I ended up going the custom route. Um, this one was custom from Suit Supply. I got two more. They're actually made for me, and they fit me even better than these, and I don't wear them. Now, what am I going to do? Like, how many dudes are out there that want to buy secondhand 38 short suits? Probably not many. You know, when I think about the amount of money that I've wasted over the years buying things that I thought I was going to love, right? It is really disturbing, honestly, and I'm sure that I'm not alone. Guys, you gotta push down the urge to buy. Just buy and buy and buy. Even if you love something, love it, one of it, not five of it or six of it. This is where a lot of guys go wrong. They find something they love, and then they go in extra deep. Guys, the deal is, find things that you love, one of them, when it wears out, replace them, and do not get into the same habits that I've been in. I have literally made so many bad financial mistakes due to the buying shit I don't need.